The USA? From Russia? South Korea, not North. I'm from China? Uh, Moldova. Australia? Australia as well. From Reading, England? Come on, Stuttgart, ursprünglich. München. Innsbruck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Nicaragua. From Sweden. Why do you think foreigners find it hard to make friends in Germany? Down here, it is hard. Right, it's hard. Yeah. Us foreigners have our struggles, but the biggest... Why do foreigners struggle to make friends in Germany? Lass uns es so rausfinden. <laughs> Keep that in. Heraus. Heraus. Do you find it hard to make friends in Germany? Well, can I speak first? Yeah. yeah, if you, it's different by your purpose. If you came to Germany as a student, then it's not that difficult because you will meet your friends from your school or course. But if you came here as a just normal worker, then yeah. it could be a little bit difficult because I don't know, I don't have so much working experience from Germany yet, but um, usually I feel that Germans do not want to share their private time with their working co colleagues. It's different with the Korean culture because, uh, of course, we do not share everything with our working colleagues, everything, but at least when, you, when we feel that, okay, I think she or he is a very nice person, then we also could share our private life but from here i feel some kind of wall yeah, that yeah. the colleague that i met from my working place but my colleagues and my friend that i met from my school yeah it, there was no wall so it's not that easy if you came here only as a worker but it could not that difficult if you come here as a student no the people are really welcoming and nice and going out clubbing best way nice. find people yeah Got good experiences good fun, high in, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for me, I think it's quite hard to make friends in Germany because, yeah, I can only speak English. And if you go to a party and then everybody speak German and I can only speak English and they turn to English and it's a bit hard. Right. So, yeah, that's that's. Good. Yeah, I find it really hard to make friends in Germany. Uh, so I think one of the reasons is that I think Germans aren't too patient with people who don't speak German too good mm -hmm. or like can't keep up with their speed with the language and uh, like let's say slang words um, and also I think um, it's a different culture like they're more close and distant I think they hang out in uh, German groups of people yeah. and that would be a second reason. Uh, yeah. we, we both learned German trying. in school we went to school oh, wow. together trying, yeah, so, so trying to pick up on, a, <laughs> yeah. on German but we're yeah. not that great. No, so you can't stop speaking out, oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> I think maybe it's two things, and first is the German people are really keen to speak German, actually, uh, particularly with their mates, and if you make a little bit of an effort, it's fine, but just expecting to speak English doesn't usually go so well, I think. Yeah. I don't know if I would classify it as struggling, right. it just kind of happens as it goes, but I guess one of the points are the language barrier. This Sometimes you meet a person here and they do not speak English or they can't communicate or verse in English, so you just kind of take an automatic distance to them. Yeah. And I guess that's one of the fundamental reasons why it's a bit harder to communicate. Warum denkst du, für Auslanders ist es um, schwer, so, uh, so, from, so Freunde zu machen? Yeah. Freunde zu finden? Ja, danke schön. Ich glaube, dass es schwierig ist, weil wir ein bisschen so, es ist uns noch befremdlich. Aha. Für in unserem Alter. Ich glaube, in ihrem Alter müsste es nicht mehr so sein. Aber warum es dann da ist, verstehe ich nicht. Ja. This is called the Brit method. This is not a, you know, selling situation. What you do, you grab your watch. Amazing. Time yourself 20 seconds. Obviously, mine's dead. And you say, ich nubins hier. Was soll ich trinken? And you have to have a drink on you. And I tell you now, you'll make loads of friends. Without a doubt. Try the Brit method. Warum ist es schwierig für Ausländer hier Freunde zu machen? Also ist eine gute Frage, es ist schwierig zu beantworten. Ich denke, es gibt unterschiedliche Gründe. Ich kann mir vorstellen, es ist vor allem schwierig, in so eine Freundesgruppe reinzukommen. Also wenn man praktisch als Ausländer versucht, in eine Freundesgruppe aus nur Deutschen sich zu integrieren, klar, das ist erstmal schwierig wegen der Sprache. Wahrscheinlich auch wegen kulturellen Ansichten, 
dass äh, vielleicht, ja, wenn Leute alle in Deutschland aufgewachsen sind, haben sie vielleicht ähnliche Ansichten über die gleiche Sache. Aber das, das könnte so das erschweren. Aber im Endeffekt denke ich, es ist tatsächlich für jeden schwierig, in schon eine feste Freundesgruppe reinzukommen. Das muss nicht unbedingt an der Kultur liegen. Also ich hoffe, dass, dass Deutsche nicht so, nicht so kalt in echt sind und nicht so unfreundlich und dass Ausländer sich hier willkommen fühlen. Ja. Yeah. Actually, I have the same opinion. If you're a student, then it will be very easy for you to make friends, especially if your uh, program is international. Uh, but then it's also not so difficult to find friends uh, at your working place because I think people are more open to you. So maybe they're a little bit conservative and less open when they don't know you and when you meet them at the bar or something. But when you are connected uh, with some, I don't know, case like work or studies, then it would be fine for you. Also, ich weiß nicht, ich, ich, ich glaube es ich glaub's gar nicht, dass es, dass es grundsätzlich schwer ist. Yeah, yeah. Ich glaube, dass es auf die Personen drauf ankommt und ich glaube, dass das auch für manche Deutsche schwer ist, in Deutschland Bekanntschaften zu schließen. Und, und für manche ist es leicht und bei Ausländern ist es auch so. Also ich kenne ein paar, die, die ganz gut ähm, Kontakte knüpfen können. Also ich glaube nicht, dass es per se schwer ist. Und es ein Viertel gesagt, dass sie sich nicht so besonders willkommen in Deutschland für some reason. Ja, ich weiß. Ich weiß. Ich weiß. Ich weiß. Ich weiß. Accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I agree. Yeah. No, I disagree. I find them really, yeah. really nice. Yeah. I, everyone I've ever talked to was like really welcoming and like interesting, like asking, oh, where are you from? Like, you know, your German's actually not terrible. So. <sighs> But did you, did you introduce yourself yeah. in German? I always try and speak German here. Right. I'm sorry for this. Yeah, yeah. And I hope this will change. Like I try to be welcoming. Ich versuche ähm, halt nicht voreingenommen natürlich zu sein. Ich habe auch das Gefühl, es ähm, mit vielleicht mit der, like with globalization, with digitalization and stuff like this, maybe younger people, like they are getting used to different cultures and um, they're more thinking like about the whole world, not just Germany. Yeah. So I'm hope, I hope this will get better. Um, yeah. I mean, Germany is a big generalization. I would say rather in Bavaria, it's harder to get into the certain stereotypes and quotas or status quo. But when you go to the northern part, like Berlin, it's so diverse and so international. So there you can more blend in. But to finish it up, down here, it is hard. It's hard. Yeah, I mean, I can, I think that's exactly it. Like, it is tricky to break in and People, that's maybe sounds a bit weird because there's so much like nice drinking culture, for example, in Germany that you think it'd be really fun to get involved in. But yeah, like certainly it takes a little bit of time. I think it just takes a little bit of time mostly to meet some nice people and find a crowd. I, I think I can agree from my few days of experience here. Right. I think that people are so um, focused in their jobs and their careers and that's their whole life. They're pretty much like into car manufacturing and factories and I think German is known for yeah. uh, being this like rigid culture and all about work and um, there's not so much time to prioritize being social and making time for other people. Secondly, I think Germans are sometimes not so outgoing actually. Like uh, I've definitely been hanging around with German friends before and you maybe see people wanting like take a selfie on the street and you go <laughs> offer to like yeah. take the picture for them and the Germans think it's like, why did you do that? Yeah. And it's like yeah. kind of just normal. Um, but yeah, so I think as soon as you manage to pull German people out a bit then they're like, love a party, yeah. love a drink, uh, whatever. But yeah, like sometimes just making that first Uh, breaking the ice, yeah. yeah, literally breaking the ice is sometimes a bit more tricky. There was a research that was done and it said that one in four really struggle to adapt to the culture in Germany. Yeah. And, and all around Germany, what do you think about that? Do you think, yeah. Yeah, like in my, in my country, people are really more open-minded and flexible. Like it's really easy to make friends just by approaching people on the streets. In Germany, they kind of get scared. Like when you just approach them, like, yeah, okay, like, <laughs> Yeah. Get off. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's okay. I think it's not too hard, but you, I have to say, I could never be a German forever. Right. Yeah. So I could easily get into the culture, but I would ne never be a native German. Right. Yeah. I think that's the 
Everybody has its own tradition. I have been growing in China for 20 years, yeah. and then I have my own style, and German has its own style. So the two styles could not be merged. I don't know about struggling. Yeah. I kind of like it, and I kind of hate it. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah, a love-hate yeah, relationship yeah, yeah. I come with it. Yeah. Certain aspects are good, and certain aspects are not as nice. But I mean, that comes with any culture in any country, I suppose. Yeah. I guess so. I have many other friends that also yeah. study here. That it's pretty hard for them to really? make friends. Yes. Culture. How have you adapted to the culture here? Is it kind of easy for you guys? I love it. Yeah. It's really good. Cool. It's, very it's really cool. Yeah. Really it's fun. Really cool. Everyone's like. Loves Just doing lots fun of things, you know. Used to that, but yeah, yeah and the letter. So it's kind of weird how Bavaria, like the states, and it's different to Berlin. I didn't realize there was all these. Yeah. Weil ich sehe hier in München viele Menschen, junge Menschen in ihrem Alter herumlaufen, die also eine Asiatin nebendran haben, also sind deutsche Bürger und, und reden auch mit den Englisch und so weiter. Also mich wundert das ein bisschen, dass diese Freundschaften oder halt überhaupt das nicht so entstehen kann. Das wundert mich ein bisschen. Bei mir an der Schule sind allerdings auch Vietnamesen und Marokkaner, aber auch alle anderen Länder, Ukraine, Russland und so weiter. Und da finde ich schon, dass das immer, also schon Teil gelingt mit, mit Beziehung, also dass sie in der Schule zumindest zusammen sind. Im Privaten weiß ich das leider nicht. Pleasure. Danke schön. Sorry, guys. It's been absolute pleasure. Es ist ein Ehre, so mit euch treffen. Danke schön. <lacht> Wow, what an episode. My question to you Germans watching this right now, and Auslanders as well, why is it so hard for you lot to make friends in Germany? If you want to know where we, I got these statistics from, this was a new release that came out, which Germany was ranked all the way at the bottom of one of the most hardest places to integrate as, as an Auslander and to with the culture. But is, do you think it's true? Let me know in the comments, Jens Jorn.